These two have finally come together. Whisper, the one on the left, has loved Cody, the one on the right. Since the time she arrived four years ago, but only now, after the loss of his beloved wife, Angel, has she been able to stand by his side and feel loved and accepted. And he sees her comfort now. He sees her as a comfort. Whereas at one time, he couldn't cope with anything. Having lost his two... That's him, Cody. Lost his two very dearest and closest friends. Comet, the leader and his mentor, and Angel, his beloved, beloved partner. But now he's recovering and spring has come. And they're gathering wheat, which is always such a joy to see. As being naturally kept horses, they've become quite lean in the winter. So can afford to gather the wheat when the fresh spring nutritious grass comes through. And this isn't just grass, it's full of hundreds and thousands of different plants, lessening the likelihood of laminitis and the space they live in, which is a huge hill here, it means they get tons of exercise and can move about and choose and gather the, gather the plants that suit them most. It's a wonderful way of life. Not easy, it's hard in the winter, but it is a wonderful way of life for them. As near natural as we can possibly do, and I've had worm tests done and discovered they have no worms. Or a very, very low worm count, which is such a joy. I feel so happy for them in the spring. Where the winter, my heart breaks for them as they struggle with the rain and the, the harsh elements. These beautiful creatures just take it all in their stride. It is what it is to them. And the feelings they experience are all feelings in the present. They've allowed the past to, allowed themselves to let go of any past these rescue horses have. Now that they have the freedom to do so and the love and the support of the rest of the herd. It is a joy to watch them. It's a joy to be part of them even on a rather grey, gloomy day. I'm quite relieved it's stopped raining, and so I'm sure are they. But Whisper here, you are looking rather beautiful, my gorgeous girl. Now that you've got your summer coat coming, and a little bit more wheat up me, oh, sorry, wheat, meat, not wheat, meat on your bones. And her lovely husband, Cody, well, new husband, hopefully, she probably would like him to be her husband, but partner at the moment. And little mini May time behind here, who has always had a bit of a thing for Cody. But then he is very tall, dark and handsome. Hey, little girlie. It's little mini May, who doesn't see herself as mini in any shape or form. But she's very gentle and very sweet, and certainly considers herself in with a chance and does not see Whisper in any way as competition. And then the lovely Julius. And Magnus beyond and the three little greys there little club of their own and Delilah and Belle and Caspian all enjoying this wonderful fresh grass which is so full of goodness and the different plants in this grass when you look at it closely is really really incredible it's so fantastic for them to be able to have such choice and this piece of raw nature, untouched, organic. Very, very fortunate. But rather than ramble on, I think I shall leave it at that because it's all my favorite subject and I'm quite capable of talking about it for too long. So I shall see you again, goodbye.